projector or TV for home theater. Hi guys, this is Jeff with ProjectorsAs.com. That's what I will be covering in this video. I'll get into pros, cons, and uh, a few things for my personal experience. So as you're looking at the difference between TV versus uh, like a projector, um, what I can tell you from personal experience, because I've switched from t uh, TV to projector for quite a few years now, as in don't even have a TV. So I use it for all of my movies, games, and all that, that those sort of things. And so the real difference, just to sum it up as simply as I possibly can, the difference between a TV and a projector. TV, you're watching a movie. A projector, you're experiencing a movie. So let's just say that again. A TV, you're watching a movie. A projector, you're experiencing it. And that's the real difference that has been for me and my family as we become submerged into the experience. As you go to a theater, you're experiencing the movie because you have extremely well-built screen, a high-end projector, but also you'll have a really good sound and really good snacks that you spend a, an overpriced fortune on. So that's the reality that we deal, deal with. So if you're in the market for projectors, I put together a video on projectorsas.com that goes through 1080p projectors. I'll be throwing out one for 4Ks. Personally, I wouldn't mess with any other projectors if you care about your screen resolution other than 1080p to 4K. And so I want to jump in more, just give you guys, if you don't have yourself a projector, but some pros and cons of projectors that most people aren't going to re be really straightforward with. One you've got to have is you have to have a environment for a projector. Low light, extremely low light. We use uh, curtains, black curtains around the living room. And then a projector screen, good screen to, to show it on, decent sound. But you've got to create the atmosphere for a projector. They're a lot different than a TV where you throw the TV up. But like I said, the difference is between experiencing the movie versus watching the movie. Because a while ago when I first got my first projector, which isn't near as, as good as the one I have now, but we're plugged in a movie and we're watching it, and it was Megamind. There's just a scene in there where with the TV, you get the main character. Even with the bigger ones, it's still a lot the same because it just can't get the size of the screen that you get with the projector. So you're submerged versus watching. And there's a scene in this movie, it's like, wow, I'm in the audience. I'm experiencing this movie. My wife was watching it with me, and she's like, I'm going to rewatch all our movies. Just because the difference in experience was dramatic. Instead of getting the main character following them and just having this narrow little perspective of the, um, the experience, of the story, of the content, now you're submerged in the audience, the atmosphere, the scene, the everything, and it's just such a different experience. And so that's really, really the difference. And then also as you get into like um, the life of bulbs, LCD, LED, all these different technologies, but it's honestly, it's not that big of a deal to replace projector bulbs in name brand projectors. Don't get the cheap crappy brands. <laughs> But um, I hope this is giving you guys some good insight as you're looking at projector or a TV for your home theater. Personally, um, I, as I walk into like Costco or Walmart, I look at the TVs there and I'm like, wow, that's, that's really small. <laughs> so my little boy, the other day is like, dad, we must be rich because of our screen. It's just so funny. But anyways, um, I hope this video has been insightful, useful. Like, subscribe, check out Projector Zaz. Um, see what projectors that I personally recommend that are out there and get some more insight on buying a projector. So I hope it's been insightful. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.